hello everybody. Ah. Say hi Griffin. Ooh. Say hi. Ooh. We got toys everywhere. We're getting ready for bed right now. Um, this video was kind of not planned, but some stuff happened today that just kind of mess up everything and we can't get the normal Mother's Day video up today. And I want to do a little explanation and then I'll let you guys go because we have a lot, lot to do. You just want to be in the shot. <laughs> I just wanted to do a little explanation of what's going on and explain why we can't get the video up today. So we got a phone call today. I got a phone call about Griffin's AFOs, his ankle braces. And they told me, which I didn't even know what was going on. I don't know why. They had to get the insurance to approve it, which I was like, like I didn't even, didn't even know. I don't know. I was naive. Sorry, my kids are playing over here. <laughs> um, and they said that the insurance is only going to cover 85% and we had to cover the rest. So I'm thinking, you know, 85%, of course, of course I can cover this. Um, so the total was $300. And, you know, it's not a ton of money, but it's a lot of money for how often he's going to need this. He's going to need, you know, a new AFOs every two to three months. That's a fortune for us. So we... I you know at first I called the insurance. I was trying to figure out what's going on. I did I had no idea what was happening. You know, these are specialty things, I guess. These are not, you know, normal, you know, doctor visits and stuff. So I asked them about genetics. I asked them about in uh, neurology. They said they're only gonna cover 85%. And if AFOs are gonna cost us three hundred dollars, then I can't imagine what an MRI is gonna cost or what genetics are gonna cost us. So we're at this point right now where we are kind of at a loss. We think, we, we have an idea of what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get a secondary insurance. We're gonna try to get it, hopefully. Um, and we're gonna have to hold off on on everything. I mean, we're gonna still go to all the first visits. Like he still has neurology this week. We're still gonna go there. It's just a visit. But um, all the tests we're gonna have to wait because I mean, you know, we have five kids, we're not wealthy, we work hard, you know, we we save our pennies, but you know, thousands and thousands of dollars for medical bills is just not in the budget, and we have to figure out what to do. We have to figure out what's best for him. Um, he's gonna get this stuff, it just might not be right away uh, until we can figure out what to do. Uh, definitely, we were really surprised by this. Uh, we had no idea, you know, none of us have really ever been sick before. You know, we don't even pay our deductibles sometimes a year because no one ever gets sick that bad where we have to. So, um, we're just a little bit, I'm a little bit caught off guard. I was very emotional. I was crying today, calling my mom and Will and just like, what are we gonna do? Um, I just, yeah, I'm just a little bit just overwhelmed by the situation. Again, you know, this kid needs so much and I have to figure out how to get this stuff for him and now the insurance is in the way. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. So tonight, me and Will are gonna sit down. We're gonna get all of our ducks in order on what to do to get secondary insurance, to um, who to call on his next day off, which is coming up in a few days, um, and what we're gonna do for him. Cause yeah, we have to call people and tell them we have to wait. Like the AFOs, we have to wait. I mean, the doctor even told me about the AFOs that he could outgrow them by the time he gets them. And I'm like, why would I spend three hundred dollars on something? It won't even fit him. And the lady was trying to reassure me that she's never seen a kid outgrow them that fast. But the own doctor told me it could. So I'm like, I, how do I trust a receptionist over the doctor? Um, so I really just I wanna, <laughs> I just yeah, it's a fortune for us. You know, I can't resell them. You know what I mean? So I can't get the money back. I know he needs them. He's gonna get them. It just might be a month or two, you know, away. A month or two where, um, you know, that, that, sorry, my kids are playing. It just might be um, a few more months down the road instead of right now until they can figure out what to do. And right now, I'm, um, right now I feel a little bit lost. <laughs> but, um, so if any of you have ever dealt with this, um, let me know. Just, I don't know, for comfort's sake or if any give any ideas on what to do. Um, let me know. I mean, we have good insurance. I mean, he's a mailman. He gets federal insurance. I just, we had no idea. We thought, you know, 100% coverage. But, yeah, we pay a lot of money for our insurance. So we thought, we really thought that it would be covered. But, yeah. Sorry, I can ramble forever and ever and ever. Um, especially about my griffin bear. Is it my griffin bear? Hello, griffin. Hello. Hold on, Winnie. There's my griffin. Say hi. Hi. We will do anything for this kid. We will fight for you, little man. 
Yes, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> so on Wednesday, we'll be back. We'll be doing the Mother's Day video, which I had a great Mother's Day. I hope you all did too. And Friday's video will be his uh, neuro appointment. So I'm excited for that. It's coming up in a few days, and I'm very excited. So, all right, guys. See you later. Bye.